everybody. This is Mike and Jeff. We're from Olama. Um, we're here to talk about running Gemma locally um, with uh, Olama. Yeah. Thank you. For those who are not familiar with Olama, um, Olama is the easiest way to run AI models locally. To get started with Olama, you simply download um, and install Olama with a simple few clicks. Olama is also an open source project that you, where you can go to our GitHub and download the raw binary or even build from the source uh, yourself. Once installed, you can uh, download the model and access the model via uh, the terminal, Olama's API, or using one of the open source UIs that are available um, that can connect to Olama. There are tens of millions of developers who are using Olama today. And we're super happy about um, 150 million models have been downloaded from Olama.com. Um, and we continue to work with developers and researchers to bring more models to Olama, like Gemma 3 today. But how does Olama work under the hood? At the core of Olama, Olama is a portable inference engine. Researchers and developers define the model um, using the specific architecture uh, within Olama. Olama then uh, takes care of running the model itself. So this includes scheduling the model, how it's going to run on CPU, GPUs, or even MPUs or T TPUs, um, and making sure that memory utilization um, is used correctly. So we spend a lot of time uh, making sure that the Olama engine works properly, um, especially within the Mac environment, Windows environment, and uh, single GPU environments within Linux um, to help developers get up and running with these models locally. And I'm super excited that we're able to collaborate with the DeepMind team to bring Gemma 3 um, on Olama today. Um, with, the, with uh, Olama in one command, um, today you can get started uh, with Gemma 3. Yeah, thank you. Oh, sure. And uh, I want to do a, a demo with Olama, but before then, let me just unlock the computer. All right. Um, as Michael mentioned, we're so excited that Gemma 3 is available on Olama starting today um, as part of the release of Gemma 3. Um, you can find it online just by uh, going to Olama.com, searching for Gemma 3, uh, where you'll see um, all four parameter sizes of the model are available to run uh, via Olama. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started by running the 4B model. So I'll jump into the terminal. And here, I'll go ahead and run. Uh, I'll paste the Olama run Gemma 3 command, um, which is the easiest way to run a model and talk to it using Olama. So I'll go ahead and do that, and I'll load Olama directly uh, here on this M4 uh, MacBook Pro, M4 Max. And I'll say hello. And here you can see uh, Gemma comes back with a response, and you can have a normal conversation um, and say, great, um, you know, let's play a game. And uh, here you can see um, right off the cuff, you get a pretty fast inference running directly uh, on your local machine without the need uh, for API keys or any kind of um, account. Uh, it just gets up and running locally. Um, one of the things we're super excited about with uh, Gemma 3, especially the 4B models and larger, is that they're multimodal capabilities. Um, and so in this case, let's go ahead and give it an image. And so here I've got a picture uh, of a cow uh, on the beach. And let's see if we can recognize that. We'll say, what's in this picture? And we'll pass in the path to the uh, image just by dragging and dropping it into the terminal. Um, and you can see that it sees the cow, and it guesses that the beach is probably in Florida. Um, and uh, you can see it spots the clouds. Um, this is a pretty easy one. Um, there's not much going on in this photo. Um, but we were really impressed with the difficulty at which uh, Gemma 3, even the 4 billion parameter model, um, could interpret uh, image input. And so I'll go ahead and let's try something a little bit harder. 
Um, in this case, I've got a doctor's note I'll show you in a second, um, which, you know, doctors are sometimes famous for poor handwriting. So let's use Gemma 3 to figure out what's in here. Um, and I'll say, what does this say? And I know it's a prescription, so I'll ask for what's the medication uh, and what's the, um, the dosage of it. And uh, we'll pass that to Gemma 3. And this is what it looks like, the note. Um, and so it's pretty hard to read handwriting. And, but you can see that here, uh, Gemma 3 nailed it. Um, you know, it reads the, the type of antibiotic, um, you know, the dosage of 500 milligrams, um, and the instructions to take it uh, one capsule three times a day for seven days. Um, and so that's Gemma 3 up and running uh, on Olama. Um, and as I mentioned before, all four variants um, are available, all four parameter sizes. Um, on the smaller side of things, we were really impressed with how good uh, responses are generated from the 1 billion parameter model, um, which is quite small. And so I'll go ahead and run that. And I'll say hello again. And you can see that you're getting even faster inference. Um, and while this M4 Max has 128 gigabytes of shared memory, um, you only need 2 gigabytes of VRAM to run the 1 billion parameter model. So it can basically be run on almost any machine. Um, and our developers on Olama have already started reporting that they're seeing pretty incredible answers uh, on par with models that are much larger than 1 billion parameters. Um, to wrap things up, um, let's run the largest model, the 27B model. Um, while this requires a little bit more uh, VRAM than uh, its smaller counterparts, um, it's still very usable on a medium to high-end uh, MacBook, um, GeForce card, uh, or uh, AMD graphics card as well, amongst the other uh, GPU-enabled devices supported by Olama. So we can go ahead and run that, and you'll get a similar experience. Um, all these demos today were um, done using the command line tool that's included with Olama. Um, but most developers building on Olama use its built-in API, or one of the 14,000 GitHub projects that have been built on top of Olama. Um, so if you search for Olama GitHub, you'll see a whole bunch of them. And there's a great list as well on Olama's GitHub repo. That wraps up the demo. Um, we can't wait to see what you build with Gemma 3. Um, they're an incredible set of models. And uh, we'll be around today as well if you have any questions about getting up and running with Olama. Um, back to you, Mike. Thank you. And Olama doesn't just stop at local with Windows and Mac. We've also partnered with the Google Cloud Run team to bring Olama into serverless environments. So today, you can get a GPU off of Google Cloud Run and get started um, scaling from zero all the way to hundreds of GPUs on Google Cloud Run with the model of your choice. And yeah, thank you. <laughs> So with Cloud Run, you can get a GPU um, in under five seconds from cold start to having the drivers installed. It's super fast. Um, please get started uh, with Olama. Give it a try. It's available across the board on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Thank you. <laughs>